The following is a presentation of Patrick McSpare Productions. Ladies and gentlemen, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you and welcome to the Christmas Day mid-season finale of WWE 2K18 My Career Mode, ladies and gentlemen. As we talk to Nikki Bella here, unfortunately, the two matches I did promise will not be airing this episode, ladies and gentlemen. However, in today's mid-season finale, we will be showing you Patrick Murphy versus Jack Gallagher. Alistair Black will challenge AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. And of course, the Money in the Bank ladder match. Kane, what's up, my man? What's going on? What's good in the hood? You are one lucky superstar. Sir! Sir! You, you know what? I, I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for you. So, I'm in the Christmas spirit. I'm not going to let you ruin my mood. So, you can take your little or Rudy Poo opinions elsewhere. Because this is Christmas Day. I hope everyone's having a great Christmas out there. And as we said, three matches in store today for the mid-season finale. Can't wait for those three matches. It's Rusev Day! Your star may be Rusev. Sir. My man. You I appreciate all the advice, but you seriously need to work on some new lines, my man. Uh where's the hairdresser? Ma'am? Ma'am, I need some new gear, so if you could provide me some new gear, that would be very helpful. And now we are changed into some new gear. I think keyword. I think we are ready to go. So anyways, three matches in the mid-season finale today here on Christmas Day. And of course, Sami Zayn, what are you doing down here? Anyways, I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for that. Time to speak to the former Mr. Money in the Bank, Baron Corbin. Yeah, 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 Baron Corbin, blah, 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 blah. You, you ain't got... You ain't tell me something I already know, Baron. So you might as well just get on out of here. Wait. Who the hell is this jabroni? Hey, finally you've impressed me a little with that victor. You want know what? whatever, mold dagger? Whatever. Just get out of my locker room. Shine my boots. Do whatever. Say me. What's up? That's my briefcase. Better keep it warm for me. <laughs> I ain't keeping shit warm for you. You hear me? I ain't keeping shit warm for you. Because it's time for Patrick Murphy to become Mr. Money in the Bank. Todd, let's get this over with. I ain't got all day. I ain't getting paid by the hour. This is what you wanted. What you risked everything for. A shot at the main event. Go earn this thing, man. So coming up next, Patrick Murphy will take on Jack Gowler with the winner advancing to the Money in the Bank ladder match as this is Money in the Bank. Money. And now, money, 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 WWE money. proudly presents Money in the Bank. On 
tonight where we will crown a new Mr. Money in the Bank on a night where AJ Styles defends his WWE Championship. We welcome you live to the Sprint Center in St. Louis, Missouri as this is Money in the Bank. And coming up next, we are going to kick things off with a final Money in the Bank qualifying match. It's coming up next. Patrick Murphy takes on Gentleman Jack Gallagher with the winner advancing later on tonight to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Patrick Murphy has basically put his career on the line tonight. Can he deliver? I guess there's only one thing left to say. We are about ready to find out. So let's hook him up, boys. It's time to butt some heads. Contest is a money in the bank qualifying match set for one fall. Introducing first from Olympia, Washington, weighing in at 227 pounds, the real deal heel, Patrick Murphy. Patrick Murphy tonight is risking everything about his career. He is putting it all on the line. Management doesn't want him in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, tonight, Patrick Murphy is going to fight against all odds. If he beats Jack Gallagher tonight, good thing he's in the first match because he will have plenty of time to rest up should he go over Jack Gallagher tonight? Because then he can rest up and prepare for five other men in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And his opponent from Manchester, England, Whedon. A 167 pounds, gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. Gentlemen, Jack Gallagher is a 205 live cruiserweight, all right? And he's doing the bidding for management because they feel like a 205 live superstar should be in that Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, Patrick Murphy, quite frankly, has taken offense to it. And tonight, not only is he going to make management pay for this decision, but he is quite honestly going to make the gentleman from Manchester, England, play, uh, excuse me, pay gentleman Jack Gallagher. Remember, this is the first matchup of the evening. The winner of this match will have plenty of time to rest because they will move on to the money in the back of the match, and here we go. Bella sounded, and Patrick Murphy is wasting no time. He is not going to waste any time. He's going to try and get this match over with quick. And I think if I were any of these men, that would be the smart strategy. Try to get a quick pinfall. Try to get a quick submission. But you got to believe the longer this match goes, a lot of people would normally say in favor of Patrick Murphy. And yes, Patrick Murphy has proven that he can go 60 minutes if need be. But because he's a little bit... Oh, man! He just spiked Jack Gallagher on his head with that DDT. And now Patrick Murphy with an underhook suplex. Oh man, somebody check on Jack Gallagher. He may have a concussion. Wait a minute, he picks him up with the leg. What a backdrop. Jack Gallagher has had an impressive showing in the Cruiserweight Classic, but that ain't gonna help him here. There's a double underhook toss. I guess if you wanna call it that, 
And now Patrick Murphy again with the DDT. He is just slaughtering Jack Gallagher right there. This ain't even a, wait a minute, Jack Gallagher counters with a tornado DDT. And now Patrick Murphy taking his time, not wasting any energy. He knows he cannot go toe to toe with Jack Gallagher when it comes to the high flying. But he, if he can keep Jack Gallagher grounded, then he can definitely win and cover. And not even one count, Patrick Murphy had a double underhook suplex, and now he's going right through the elbows. He's gonna try to injure the ribs or the back of gentleman Jack Gallagher. He's looking for that lion tamer submission hold, one of his patented submission maneuvers, and there's a forearm off the middle turnbuckle. Isn't it odd that back in the day, if you came off the top, that it was an automatic disqualification? And now Patrick Murphy brings Jack Gallagher back in the ring with a vertical suplex from the apron. And there's a double axe handle. Patrick Murphy is wasting no time here. He's, he's wanting Jack Gallagher to get up. Wait a minute. Suplex and a party. And we know where he learned that move from. He learned it from Mr. ROH Roderick Strong. And now Patrick Murphy going for the kill early. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it locked in. He's got the Lion Tamer locked in. Jack Gallagher has nowhere to go, but he has no choice but to tap out. And Patrick Murphy advances to the Money in the Bank ladder match later on tonight. Oh boy. Patrick Murphy has just stuck it to management. And if they don't like it, I guess he has two words for him. There you see the in the match right here. Patrick Murphy applies the Lion Tamer, nowhere to go, and Jack Gallagher has no choice but to tap out your winner by submission, Patrick Murphy. Let's go to the ring announcer for the official decision. Here is your winner by submission, the real deal heel, Patrick Murphy. Patrick Murphy has just qualified for the money in the bank ladder match and this crowd is going wild. Oh yeah, two sweets yourself on that, my man, because you have a shot later tonight to become Mr. Money in the Bank. But you better rest up all you can, because coming up next, Alistair Black, who won. Who won Eight Man Mayhem this past Tuesday night on SmackDown will challenge AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Can we see the first ever NXT superstar to become WWE Champion while on the NXT roster? Guess we're gonna have to find out. The title match is next. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and it is for the WWE Championship.
Mr. Black earned this opportunity this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live by winning Eight Man Mayhem to get here. Tonight, Alistair Black is making history. He's becoming the first NXT superstar on the active NXT roster that challenged for the WWE Championship. The man from Amsterdam, Holland, could become the first man from Amsterdam and the first active NXT NXT superstar as we're having a little bit of technical difficulties here the challenge for the WWE Championship and become the first active NXT superstar to win the WWE Championship as we now see the entrance of the champion. Quite arguably, one of the greatest of all time, multi-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion, multi-time NWA and TNA, of course now Impact Heavyweight Champion, respectively. He is also a former NWA Wildside Champion, and of course, a current two-time WWE Champion. AJ Styles has done it all in this business. He has been in there with so many of the greats, from John Cena to Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, Shane McMahon, Samoa Joe, Bobby Roode, Sting, Jeff Jarrett, you name it. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, can easily be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but tonight he has a huge test ahead of him as he gets set to defend the WWE Championship against Aleister Black. This sold out crowd is ready for a huge title match as we get ready to go to our ring announcer for the introductions. Introducing first, from Amsterdam, Holland, Alistair Black! And now, introducing the champion from Gainesville, Georgia. He is the WWE Champion. He is the phenomenal AJ Styles! And ladies and gentlemen, this is what we came to see here tonight in St. Louis, Missouri. History is being made tonight here at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, and that is what it is all about. The richest prize in sports entertainment, the WWE Championship, Aleister Black and AJ Styles both getting ready, and here we go. Match is underway, collar and elbow tie-up. AJ Styles takes control, and if he goes to work on the back of the knee early, that takes out most of Aleister Black's offense. However, Aleister Black, if he's smart, he needs to take away some of the high-flying offense from AJ Styles if he wants to win this matchup. Of course, it's going to be the Black Mass versus the Styles Clash, the Dragon Slayer versus the Calf Crusher. AJ Styles and Aleister Black both have so many weapons in this, their arsenals that it's really tough to call. This is like a dream match here. It's kind of hard to tell who really has an advantage. And there you see AJ Styles getting a little cocky and arrogant there. And now AJ Styles, he does not want to get in a striking matchup with Aleister Black. Aleister Black has some of that deadly MMA training. Wait a minute, rebound. Oh man, he just twisted Aleister Black around like a cyclone with that clothesline. And now Aleister Black, Irish whip. And AJ Styles goes over the top rope. AJ Styles counters a kick, springboard drop kick. And now AJ Styles, the champion, 
in control of this matchup. Remember, AJ Styles does not have to beat Aleister Black. Aleister Black has to defeat AJ Styles. But AJ Styles is that kind of man where he will not be satisfied with a count out or a disqualification victory. Oh man, a huge diamond cutter. Shades of DDP right there. And now Aleister Black going to work on the arm. Oh man, he just twisted AJ Styles' arm like a pretzel right there. Aleister Black now going to the middle rope. He's begging for the champion to get up. Aleister Black, oh man, Kinshasa. Shades of Shinsuke Nakamura right there. And now Aleister Black has got AJ Styles at his mercy. Scoop slam by Aleister Black. And now Aleister Black is the one in control of this matchup. Irish whip. And now Aleister Black. Oh man, he sends the champion to the outside. And I think that is a disadvantage for Aleister Black because AJ Styles has champion's advantage. He can retain the title by count out or disqualification and the referee is starting his count right there. And now AJ Styles is back in the ring. The referee I believe is now at a count of four. If uh, now at count of five, Aleister Black easily gets in before the count of 10. And now AJ Styles back in control of this matchup. He's got him up. Tiebreaker. Or whatever AJ Styles calls it right there. Shades of Ty Dillinger. And now AJ Styles is begging for Aleister Black to get up. Springboard. Phenomenal forearm. Phenomenal forearm. That should be all. One. Two. And Aleister Black kicks out. This is the heart and determination that brought Aleister Black to victory during Eight Man Mayhem. And now AJ Styles, the champion, is getting frustrated right here. He's figuring out what the hell do I got to do to beat this man. And that is a smart move by AJ Styles. Go to work on a leg. Because then, wait a minute, Dragon Screw shakes at the great Muta right there. And now Aleister Black in control. Irish whip in the corner. And now Aleister Black, oh man, look at those vicious texts right there. That sends AJ Styles down. Oh man, Aleister Black. Oh my, big boot in the corner. And now AJ Styles is down. Aleister Black now going up top. Double foot stomp. That should be all. But I don't think that will be it. And now Aleister Black with an underhook suplex. And now Aleister Black with an arm bar. And now a leg lock. Oh man. AJ Styles is in a precarious position here. But AJ Styles finds his way at that deadly submission maneuver. Hold number one in the list of a thousand of four holds. Arm drag. And now AJ Styles. Wait a minute. He was going for a power bomb. Neck breaker. And now Aleister Black dragging AJ Styles to the center of the ring. Cover. Not even a one count. You're not going to beat the champion that easy and now Aleister Black with another double stomp Aleister Black now oh my Black Mass out of nowhere one two and AJ Styles kicks out Woo! I thought we were gonna have a new WWE champion right there wait a minute German suplex. Oh man, we know the history and neck problems AJ Styles has had. And now Aleister Black going to the well once more. An arm bar leg lock combination. AJ Styles doing his damnedest to fight out of the submission hold and he dies.
AJ Styles now with a clothesline. And now AJ Styles is going to make Alistair Black pay. Powerbomb into a bridge. One. Oh, not even a two. And now AJ Styles has got Alistair Black up. Pele! Pele! That's a nerve arsenal move out of AJ Styles. But AJ didn't go for the cover. Wait a minute. Could it be? Yes! Calf Crusher! Calf Crusher! Oh man, Alistair Black may have no choice but to tap out right here. He is far, far away from the ropes. What will Alistair Black do? I think Alistair Black would rather pass out from the pain than submit to the champion right here. You only get a once in a lifetime opportunity History is being made tonight. And I don't believe that the challenger is going to let this opportunity slip away like this. What will Alistair Black do? He may have no choice. AJ Styles trying to take away the leg. Because if he takes away the leg, there's no way Alistair Black can't deliver Black Mass. And now Alistair Black finally fights out of the calf crusher. Alistair Black now. AJ Styles with a foot. Oh man, what a clothesline. And now AJ Styles. He's got Alistair. Oh my God. Insult to injury. Black Mass. Two. Oh my. Alistair. I think AJ was trying to talk to the referee, but the referee ignored him. And now AJ talking to the referee right there. Oh, man. Alistair Black kicked out at two. That would have been insult to injury right there had AJ Styles pulled that off. And now AJ Styles up to the top. He's going for it. Spiral top. Spiral tap! That should be all! He beat Jeff Jerry for this very maneuver too! He beat Jeff Jerry, if you recall right, for the NWA title with that maneuver right there. And now Alistair Black, oh my! AJ Styles avoids the big boot and the big man goes over the top. Referee admonishing his 10 count now. And now AJ Styles gets Alistair Black back in the ring. AJ Styles is going for it once more. Springboard into a blockbuster. And now AJ Styles. Could he be going to the well once more? There it is. 450. The cover. One, two, and Alistair Black kicks out again. Oh boy, what resiliency by the challenger right here. And now AJ Styles in control of this matchup. He's got Alistair Black up. Tiebreaker once again. And now AJ Styles. What can he be going for right here? AJ Styles now is picking up Alistair Black. This could be the coup de grace. He's got to step over. He connects. Styles clash. Styles clash. One, two, and Alistair Black kicks out. And AJ Styles, rightfully so, is frustrated. He has just hit Alistair Black with everything but the kitchen sink. And he is still in this matchup. Oh, Tornado DDT off the springboard now. Oh boy, what a match. And now AJ Styles springboard, frog splash. The champion has the experience edge in this matchup. And wait a minute, drop to hold by Alistair Black. And sometimes youth can overcome experience. We've seen that happen with Ric Flair. We've seen that happen with Big Van Vader. 
We've seen that happen with so many guys. They go in underestimating a guy <coughs> with the least experience. And now Alistair Black, could he be going for it again? There it is, Black Mass, Black Mass, one. Oh my God, AJ Styles kicks out in one. Man, what a contest. And a double axe handle off the middle rope. And now a double foot stop. Man, I gotta catch my breath here. Both men are going at it. And there's a vertical suplex now by Alistair Black. Alistair Black proven that sometimes you can overcome experience and he twists AJ's arm once again like a pretzel. And now both men are back inside the squared circle. This is turning to a good old fashioned slobber knocker. This is normally a car crash you'd see on I-95. And now AJ ducks her Conrada. And now AJ Styles, why isn't he going for the cover right there? Frog splash. One, two, and Alistair Black kicks out. And AJ misses with a snap there. And now Alistair Black has got AJ Styles up. He's got AJ Styles stake eyes. Oh man, and a knee right to the face. Man, this is turning into an absolute classic. This crowd is completely spit. Irish whip in the corner and to a swinging neck breaker. And now AJ Styles has got, wait a minute, once again, calf crusher, calf crusher. I think this time the challenger may have no choice but to tap out right here. And once again, Alistair Black is so, so far away from the ropes. He may have no choice, but Alistair Black, once again, fights out of the situation. <coughs> and a brain buster by Alistair Black. Man, this match is really having me exhausted. Here it is, double foot stomp. That should be all, but Alistair Black is not finished. Black, oh, Black Mass is countered, and oh, the Styles Clash is countered. And now Alistair Black with a clothesline. Oh man, each one countering each other's submission move, and there's the knee, and now, Alistair Black is clearly out of breath right there. And now Alistair Black with a cutter into the Dragon Slayer. AJ Styles with nowhere to go. But AJ is now fighting out of that Dragon Slayer submission hold. Oh man, and an injury stops the momentum of Alistair Black. And now AJ Styles He's got Alistair Black now. Oh man, what a swinging jawbreaker right there. And now AJ Styles. And now the referee is going to admonish his 10 count right there. Remember, if Alistair Black does not get back in the ring, the champion retains by count out. The only way the championship changes hands is by pinfall or submission and the referee has to pull AJ Styles back right there. And now AJ, wait a minute. Backdrop by Alistair Black. And now Alistair Black sensing that this could be his moment right here. And oh man, oh man. Alistair Black, Black Mass, Black Mass for the third time. One, two, and AJ kicks out again. And now, <laughs> there's the cutter. And now AJ Styles is there precarious predicament right there. Slingshot missed. And now AJ Styles has got the challenger right 
where he wants him. He could be going for the tiebreaker, but Alistair Black fights out of it with a DET. And now it's stop to the face. No way. Can we be seeing a new champion right here? He's got, oh my God. Mamma mia, that was vicious black ass. One, two, we got a new WWE champion. And his name is Alistair Black. Alistair Black has just made history by becoming the first active NXT superstar on the NXT roster to become WWE Champion. Oh my, what a moment. What a matchup. Alistair Black has overcome all odds to become the new champion. Here's your winner, a new WWE Champion, Alistair Black. Alistair Black has overcome the odds tonight and is the new WWE Champion. And the crowd is standing. What a hell of a match that both of these men have given this St. Louis crowd. And I can tell you right now, while Alistair Black may be the new WWE Champion, you can rest assured that this rivalry is not going to be over by a long shot. You've got to believe somewhere down the line, AJ Styles is going to want his rematch at the WWE Championship because AJ Styles and Aleister Black tore the house down tonight. Oh boy, what a moment. All right, we have regained our composure and we are back at the gorilla position Todd, don't you dare good win out there good warm up for the main event i'm ready for this no doubt but go break for a bit then come back your first money in the bank match will start shortly okay i sure will go take myself a break mr todd mullen anyways I cannot believe what we have just seen. Alistair Black becomes the first ever active member on the NXT roster to win the WWE Championship. But unfortunately, because of the way the ladder match was placed on the card, there is no way whoever wins the Money in the Bank briefcase will have the opportunity to cash in tonight. Nikki Bella, I ain't got time for your sorry ass. I, I got better fish to fry and better things to worry about than a bunch of, you, you know what? I will bite my tongue. I will bite my tongue. So it, it, is there anybody backstage? Carmella, you know, I, I ain't got time for you either. Randy Orton, eh. quite frankly, I ain't got time for him either, but you know what, we'll go ahead and give it an effort. Yeah, 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 What? whatever. Randy, can you for once stop that good old McMahon lecture? I mean, this stuff is really getting old. And I see Sin Cara back there, so really, I ain't got time for nobody. So now, I think I'm done with the break. I think I am ready to become Mr. Money in the Bank. So we are going to pass by on out of here. And we are actually going to head straight to the gorilla position. Todd, I'm ready. I am ready. How many times do I got to warn you, man? No way. I've seen other WWE superstars in this position before. Before Money in the Bank? No, not that. I mean this. This moment. This second before you take off. Dude, remember why you trained for this moment. This is it. This is your one chance to start your own legacy. 
not someone else's, yours. You feel me? I think I'm starting to understand what you're getting at. No glory without risk. No bridges without fire. You worked your ass off to reach this moment. Now take what's yours. So Patrick Murphy's got to win this match, perform an OMG moment, and use the ladder in a move against any opponent in this matchup. And I think he's ready to make this match a huge classic because coming up next, our main event of the evening, Patrick Murphy earlier tonight defeated gentleman Jack Gallagher to fill in the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match as it'll be Patrick Murphy, Luke Harper, Sami Zayn, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and John Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, one of these six men could potentially become Mr. Money in the Bank. But for Patrick Murphy, it's just more than becoming Mr. Money in the Bank. For Patrick Murphy, this is his chance to shine under the bright lights. The match everyone's been waiting for is next. Test is scheduled for one fall, and it's the money in the bank ladder match. Introducing first from Olympia, Washington, the real deal heel, Patrick Murphy. Patrick Murphy earlier tonight defeated gentlemen. Jack Gallagher to get in to the Money in the Bank ladder match. But now, this is a big test. This is probably the biggest test in Patrick Murphy's career because he's just not going up against some generic mid-carder. Tonight, he is under the bright lights going up against world-class main event superstars. This is a make it or break it moment for Patrick Murphy because tonight this is his only chance if he does not become Mr. Money in the Bank I can rest assured he'll become nothing more than a curtain jerker waiting at 305 pounds Luke Harper Luke Harper, you can consider one of the most dangerous men when it comes to ladder matches. He was responsible for putting Dean Ambrose out of action a couple of years ago at WrestleMania in this very type of matchup. Only then it was for the Intercontinental Championship. Luke Harper claims violence. He has had a shot at the WWE Championship before. And tonight, he has a huge opportunity to become Mr. Money in the Bank. And who knows, we could possibly see Luke Harper as the next WWE Champion. Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, he is the 16th time world champion, John Cena! John Cena, the 16th time world champion, any former Mr. Money in the Bank. John Cena knows what it takes 
to become Mr. Money in the Bank. He has done it once before. However, when he was Mr. Money in the Bank, he unsuccessfully cashed in at Raw 1000 thanks to some interference by the Big Show. And you know John Cena wants to be on top of the mountain once again. He wants to break Ric Flair's record and become the 17 time world champion. Well tonight, John Cena is gonna have to go through five other men if he wants to become Mr. Money in the Bank. And we know John Cena, he can get it done in big time situations. Tonight could be the night of the franchise. From Cincinnati, Ohio, the Lunatic Fridge, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, the Lunatic Fringe, is also a former Mr. Money in the Bank. As a matter of fact, when he won this event almost two years ago, Dean Ambrose ended up cashing in on the same night to become WWE Champion. So we cannot underestimate Dean Ambrose because he damn sure has what it takes to get it done once more. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Roman Reigns! And here comes the big dog, the 275 pounder from Pensacola, Florida. He is the former three-time WWE Champion, Roman Reigns has already been to the top of the mountain multiple times already. Roman Reigns, we know, wants to taste championship gold once again. But every time he tries to taste championship gold, he always hits a roadblock. Whether it be Triple H, whether it be a former arch nemesis, or whether it be a failed drug test, you name it, Roman Reigns has had to overcome every obstacle possible. Every time he steps into that ring, some people criticize him because a lot of people feel that everyone has to make him look strong. But over the years, Roman Reigns has silenced the critics, proving that he ain't just another Vince McMahon golden boy that people make look strong. Roman Reigns has that it factor, and tonight he can use his momentum to become Mr. Money in the Bank. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, leading at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Sammy Zayn, the former NXT champion from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Sammy Zayn has been in this matchup twice before. However, you gotta think third time could be the charm for Sammy Zayn because sooner or later, not too long, Sami Zayn is not going to be given opportunities like this much longer. So Sami Zayn has to make the most of this opportunity tonight. And if we know one thing, Sami Zayn has no quit in him. And there you see all of these six men warming up. And here we go. Bella sounded. Matches underway, ladies and gentlemen. Remember. There are no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, and damn sure no disqualifications. The only way you are going to win 
This matchup is by climbing the ladder and retrieving that blue briefcase you see right there. The action is going to be so hard to call. I'm going to have trouble keeping up with this one. And Roman Reigns is going up top already. And now Luke Harper is trying to meet up with Roman Reigns on the top of the ladder. And now Luke Harper trying to fight off Cena's aim. Excuse me. Roman Reigns. And now... Patrick Murphy, what, wait a minute, Irish Whip, Patrick Murphy's got Sami Zayn here, Luke Harper was knocked off the ladder, and now Patrick Murphy and Sami Zayn push off the ladder, and now Roman Reigns is hanging, power bomb by Dean Ambrose, remember, every man for himself, even if it means shield member against shield member. Oh boy, this is off to a wild start, ladies and gentlemen. Now Patrick Murphy pumps a ladder in the corner. And now Patrick Murphy has got Dean Ambrose here. Irish whip in the corner. And now Patrick Murphy, German suplex through the ladder. And the ladder has broke, is broken in half. Oh boy, and look at that. Dean Ambrose, how is Dean Ambrose standing after that one? This guy is nuts. And now a backdrop by Patrick Murphy. I guarantee you folks, this ain't going to be pretty. This is going to look like a car crash on I-95. This is not your typical wrestling match. This is a good old fashioned slobber knocker you're going to see here. And there's an elbow drop by Patrick Murphy on the ladder nonetheless and now Patrick Murphy of an STO backbreaker oh man Luke Harper's head had to have hit the edge of the ladder right there and there you see Sami Zayn and John Cena going at it and of course Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns are heading at it and now Sami Zayn is bringing another ladder into the ring and now John, C it looks as if John Cena is going to meet him inside the ring. And Sami Zayn is using the ladder as a weapon. Remember, no disqualification in this one. And Roman Reigns gets jawbreakered off the apron. And now Sami Zayn once again using the ladder as a weapon. And now Patrick Murphy looking to bide his time here. Patrick Murphy. What can he be doing? He's got, he's got Sami Zayn right where he wants him. And now Patrick Murphy knocks Sami Zayn. What? Oh man, for a minute there, Patrick Murphy was on an invincible ladder. He could have easily won the money big briefcase right there. Oh boy. Imagine had he would have won that off an invincible ladder. And now Patrick Murphy brings the ladder into the ring. Patrick Murphy now uses the ladder as a weapon. And now Patrick Murphy is going to set the ladder down. I don't know what Patrick Murphy is going to go for here. Patrick Murphy just sitting here biding his time. And now Patrick Murphy is up top. And now, oh man, John Cena knocks Patrick Murphy off the ladder. And now Luke Harper smashes Patrick Murphy into the ladder. But Patrick Murphy, being smart, rolls to the outside with another STO backbreaker into a side Russian leg sweep. And of course, Roman Reigns body slammed John Cena. And the ladder went crashing down and now Roman Reigns could he be going up top once again wait a minute Patrick Murphy is up top and now Roman Reigns with some punches and Patrick Murphy counters oh my god no way no way he's gonna do this and a two adjustment off the top of the ladder who's making who look strong now buddy boy and now John Cena is on the top of the ladder. Can he become Mr. Money in the Bank right here? And now Sami Zayn is 
pushed off the ladder. Oh my God, electric chair by Sami Zayn. Oh boy, what a contest so far. What a rolling power bomb by Sami Zayn. And now Sami Zayn has got the ring to himself here. He sets up the ladder once again. And now Roman Reigns goes to the outside. And now Irish Whip into the ring apron. And now Luke Harper is back in the ring. He's gonna, what, what is Luke Harper doing? Sami Zayn. He could have this matchup won right here. Why is nobody going after Sami Zayn? And now Patrick Murphy. Pa Wait a minute. Roman Reigns has got Patrick Murphy. Outsider's edge. Powerbomb by Cena. Powerbomb by Roman Reigns. Wow, you can invest for perfect timing than that. Oh boy. And now Patrick Murphy. Shoves Roman Reigns like he's nothing but a toy. And now John Cena is going up the top of the ladder. Could he be pulling down that briefcase? And now Luke Harper counters with a power bomb. And now Dean Ambrose going up top here. But Dean Ambrose thinks better of it. And there you see the ladder bridged between the barricade. There's the flashback. The ladder is bridged between the barricade and the ring apron. And now Patrick Murphy, what does he got in mind here? He could be having Luke Harper at his mercy. And he pushes off the ladder. Patrick Murphy's got, oh man, electric chair on the ladder. And now Dean Ambrose is setting up the ladder here. What is Patrick Murphy gonna do? Dean Ambrose now circling Patrick Murphy around the ring. Patrick Murphy is thinking better of it. And now looks as if Dean Ambrose is gonna follow Patrick Murphy, but Dean Ambrose eats a clothesline instead. And now Sami Zayn is going up top. Roman Reigns is just standing there. Dirty deeds, insult to injury for Dean Ambrose. Good night, Dean Ambrose. And Roman Reigns is just standing there, letting this opportunity slip away. But both Roman Reigns and Patrick Murphy knock the ladder off and a power bomb by Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns now, John Cena with a good slam right here. And now Patrick Murphy knocks John Cena off the apron. And now Patrick Murphy, what can he be going for here? Patrick Murphy must have his attention towards Sami Zayn right here. And now an STO backbreaker into a side Russian leg sweep. Patrick Murphy is picking his spots here in this Money in the Bank ladder match. Oh man, what a huge spine buster by Luke Harper. And now Patrick Murphy, I think he was gonna knock Luke Harper off the apron and he does. And now John Cena, Irish whip in the corner. And now John Cena turns around Patrick Murphy. And now Patrick Murphy, oh man, reversal. Irish whip, and now Patrick Murphy is on the ladder. What could happen right here? Patrick Murphy is defenseless. And now John Cena, what can he be doing next? And now, oh man, he's now gonna punish Patrick Murphy into an oblivion, but Dean Ambrose is going up top. Can Dean Ambrose become Mr. Money in the Bank once again? Patrick Murphy is now going for the ladder. He shoves the ladder off. And now Patrick Murphy, power bomb by John Cena. And now Patrick Murphy sends Sami Zayn to the outside. And now Patrick Murphy does the same to John Cena. And now Luke Harper not knowing what to do here. Patrick Murphy has the golden opportunity right here. He has the advantage. Could he be doing it? 
He's got it! He's got it! He's got it! Patrick Murphy is Mr. Money in the Bank! Holy smokes! Patrick Murphy! Patrick Murphy has just cashed in on the opportunity of a lifetime! He is now Mr. Money in the Bank! Oh boy, management's not going to be too happy about this. And right, rightfully, Patrick Murphy does not care. Patrick Murphy just accomplished yet another milestone in his career. Here is your winner and new Mr. Money at the Bank, the real deal, deal, Patrick. Patrick Murphy is Mr. Money in the Bank, which means now he has the opportunity for up to one year to cash in that briefcase anytime, anywhere, any place for a WWE Championship match. Oh boy, Patrick Murphy has done the impossible. What is next for Patrick Murphy? Oh boy, what a moment. Celebrate it, Patrick Murphy. You deserve it. And now we are back in the gorilla position. Todd, don't do this to me, please. Allow me the honor of meeting you first, Mr. Money in the Bank. Really, Todd? Really? I could get used to the ring of that. Don't let it get too endearing. Gotta cash it in one day or another. Way to end that pay-per-view in style. Go rest up and we'll have you highlighted in next week's show. You damn right you better have me highlighted. Been a crazy month for the both of us. <laughs> crazy month for the both of us. More like a crazy month for me because I've had to fight for this opportunity. I want you to know that after everything, I have no regrets, you bastard. I'd do it all the same again, given the chance. Not too surprising that. You sure there's not anything else you want to say? Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, nah, nah, I think we're good. Here, I'm good. You good? I'm good. Until next week. <laughs> Until next week. You are looking at the Mr. Money in the Bank. Patrick Murphy may finally start getting his due. And guess what, Sin Cara? You're going to bow to me. Well, looks as though you really do have the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> More like I have the skills to whoop your ass. You talk to me like that again. But anyways, what a crazy night tonight. Have you seen Vince? Need to talk to him real quick. Uh, I don't know where Vinny Mac is. What a crazy night tonight at Money in the Bank. First, Patrick Murphy defeats Jack Gallagher to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Daniel Bryan, what's going on? You, you finally going to start giving me my due? Why do you always say the same shit, Daniel? Why? 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 You, you know what? I, I ain't got time for your ass. I ain't got time for your ass right now. Patrick Murphy, earlier tonight, defeated Jack Gallagher to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. As we talk to Primo here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, whatever. Whatever, Primo. And then, of course, Alistair Black defeats AJ Styles to become the new WWE Champion. The first ever active member of the NXT roster to become WWE Champion. Becky, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, Ma'am... 
Good thing I caught you before I left because I need to change into some new gear real quick. And guess what? I am finally in that new gear. And his name is John Cena! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Wow, I'm so dis. Wow, I'm so disappointed with this outcome. I really. I really didn't even think you could do it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but it just sounds like that would be a straight face John Cena would make. I am so sorry. It, Vinny Mac, of course you ain't here. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to mess with your office. You, I'm not going to stoop to that level. And then, of course, Patrick Murphy is Mr. Money in the Bank. Becky Lynch. Nobody here respects me. I do everything right, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Enough is enough. I'm done with the past. I'm done with the present. It's time for a new me. That's only going to do what I want. You know what, Becky? I respect that you want to talk to me and all that, but you really need to come up with a new line because it, it you know what, I, I'm going to bite my tongue here. I, I don't want my arm ripped off, mole dagger, get my bags and get to my car. Hey, that's my briefcase, Betty. That's what Sammy Zane just said earlier. Oh my God. Seriously, dude. Didn't see me seeing just say the same thing before we walked out to face Jack. Whatever. That is why you are my personal assistant. Because you are nothing but a dumb bitch. Eric Rowan, teach that guy a lesson. Damn, I missed my shot. But you earned this. You, you know what? You're damn right. I've earned this briefcase. It's about time people start putting some respect on my name. You know, I, I'm sick and tired of getting disrespected here. It's time that we put some respect on Mr. Money in the Bank, Patrick Murphy, right here. Sir, you need to get my car. Mr. Money in the Bank has a huge celebration ahead of him, and it is time to party. Money. And ladies and gentlemen, money, 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 that money. does it for the mid season finale of WWE 2K18 by Career Mode here on Christmas Day, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you all taking the time out of your holiday to stop by and catch some good old wrestling action. Remember, new episodes will resume on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2018 at 10 a.m. Eastern, ladies and gentlemen. So be sure to stop by New Year's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick Murphy is now Mr. Money in the Bank. What will happen with him next? Knowing WWE's past history of booking Money in the Bank winners? Guess we're going to have to find out in the coming weeks, ladies and gentlemen. So do me a big favor. Smash that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Share this series on social media and please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all stopping by. This has been one hell of an episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, for all of us at Patrick McSparren Productions, this is Patrick McSparren saying so long, and I'll see you soon. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, everyone. See ya! This telecast is copyrighted for the private use of our audience. Any use of this telecast, pictures, or descriptions without Patrick McSparren Productions' consent is prohibited. Be sure to subscribe to Patrick McSparren Productions for more exclusive content.